guys welcome to my channel so today i'm doing a comparison between the mini flat bags in replica and the authentic one because i had recently fallen into victim of buying a replica one online um so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna first show you both bags and just looking at them which one do you think is the fake one all right and if you guessed black you are correct so unfortunately i did buy this black mini flap online and i had thought it was authentic just by like kind of like an overview of photos online but after getting it in person it was 100 percent proven to be fake i'm gonna run you by everything i looked into to authenticate it and make sure that I did have the correct bag. First thing I looked at was the dust bag. This is the dust bag that it came in. Now when you're looking at this, it has shoelaces on them. I don't think I've ever seen a dust bag with Chanel that has that. Um, and then I compared it to the one that I bought from the boutique, which is the purple one. And this is a dust bag. I mean, want from one, it's much bigger. Let's compare them both. It's much bigger. That is how the writing is here and the writing is here as well. So again, completely different. I do have another, um, sorry. I do have another dust bag that is similar to this, like a real one, but I have never seen shoelace. It's more like a drawstring rather than a shoelace one, which I've never seen before. The next thing for me is really comparing the hardware. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera and kind of place it towards the bags so you can get a general idea of what I'm talking about. All right, so first thing, just general looking at them, you can tell that this one is slightly shorter than this one, which is odd to me because usually replicas would be slightly bigger. And then another big thing is the space between the flap and where the CC is. And you can see it right here as well which to me is kind of odd. I didn't really think that it would be much of a difference. I even contacted my essay. I was like, okay, maybe because it's a 2014 bag and a 2019 that there would be slightly difference, but she told me that there was not. So with that being said, that's another big indicator. So when you're looking right here versus right here, you can see the difference. Okay, next up is the CC logo itself. Let me look into this. You can see that it's slightly lifted versus this, which is not lifted at all. And I was like, okay, I gave it getting myself, I gave myself again the benefit of the doubt, thinking it was gonna be a little bit different, but then I compared it to my medium flap and I looked right here, and again, not lifted. So that was another big indicator like okay this could be a replica also the tone of the hardware i'm sure they they do have antique tones out there so like okay i was like that it's not much of a difference but i'm not entirely sure about that one so if someone wants to leave in the comments and let me know another big thing right here always look at where the chain loops from do you see how thick that is versus how thick this one is and again, gave myself the same benefit of the doubt. It was like, okay, could be, maybe, because it's an older collection. The Chanel bag, the medium I have is a 2006, nine collect, uh, 2006 or eight collection. And look at that. Thin, thin. Sorry, my dog's just whining. Do you just want to be in the video? Do you just want to be in the video? Okay, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> All right, so again, when you look again, it is much thicker over here than it is here and here. So next thing we're gonna look at is chain length. That also gave it away for me as well, because obviously if you're comparing it to a bag that you know you bought at a boutique versus buying online, you'd be like, all right, this makes more sense. This is more sense. This is choo -choo, guys. <laughs> okay, so. I may need to stand to show you a quick comparison, but they're both sitting on the ground. Which one's higher? The black one. 
So the chain's not supposed to be that long. Yes, these bags do have longer chain lengths than the other ones compared to like the classic, like the small and medium and large classic flaps. But at the same time, they are meant to be crossbody, but not as long as this one. So it's just got me thinking like, hmm, again, wondering why it's fake or not, authenticity cards. These can also be a big game changer because, I mean, you can get a buy a used one online and it can be, it could look like in, in, in pristine condition and they'll show you an authenticity card with it. And you'll be like, okay, great. It's hundred percent real. No, because they do fake authenticity cards all the time. And I'm going to show you the biggest difference because again, if you are a first time Chanel buyer and you're buying one online and you see that, like, let's say you were to get this bag in the mail, you wouldn't really know unless you did all your research to see if it was really fake or not. And if I had not had a mini, honestly, I would have not known. So I wasn't able to find any videos online kind of exp explaining the differences. So in that case, that's why I'm making one. Okay, back to these. The biggest thing I noticed is the way Chanel is written on the bottom. So when you look at these, one looks thicker than the other, and it's very slight. It's very, very, very slight. Um, so the bottom one is slightly thicker than the top. But I was like, okay, that one's again, maybe you're typing, whatever, it's fine. But this is what really gave it away for me. So when you look at the way the, le the numbers are written, so the top one is the black classic flap and the bottom one is mine. Do you see a difference in the numbers? The numbering is slightly different. The two is not the same and that's basically it. The two is really the one that's not the same. And I was like, let me take a quick look at it one last time. Yeah, zero pretty much looks the same. Three is slightly different. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately the bag did end up being a fake because the one thing I looked at when I first got it was this part right here. So when you're looking at that and you can see how thick this is versus how thin this one is, look at that. That's a big difference. And I was personally kind of annoyed by it because I was, dying to get my hands on this one bag okay another indicator is usually right here chanel should always be oopsies let me put it this way chanel should always be on this side and paris should always be on that side in this case they're both there okay and um it should be either a flathead screw or they have the other type of screws and i could just insert a picture to show you which one it is but most of the time it will be a flathead screw. And also with the lettering, let me bring the camera much closer so you can see. So when you're looking at the lettering over here, you can see how it is over here versus here. This one seems a little bit more pressed together and like, I don't know, something about it. But then still when you compare it to this one, they don't match. Oh, they're further apart. That's what it is and more like kind of narrowed down rather than like actually written correctly so when you look at that again that's a big indicator of it being fake or a replica so in conclusion i think i'm 100 percent sure that this one is unfortunately a replica versus obviously this one which i know i bought at a boutique so i know it's 100 percent authentic and i'm actually pretty like upset about it because i was really wanting to get my hands on this one but I mean, I'd rather have the real one. Um, another big thing to look at is, which this one hit the nail on, is the leather and the stitching. I did compare all the stitchings to this and it was literally near perfect. Like when you look on the top versus the sides on the bottom, it just gives you the general idea that this could be authentic in terms of the stitching and the leather and it didn't feel weird at all didn't feel plasticky which sometimes they would if they are cheaper replicas but this one was a really expensive like that's the thing is i paid about 3700 for this after tax 
and this bag brand new goes for 3800 and I understand the markup on it because it's the black mini flap which is really hard to find but at the same time I was like okay I could just pay the same price get the bag I want and not have to worry about waiting on the wait list no I eventually I now have to go through an annoying return process to be like hey so this is now fake and whatnot so quick look at it again it looks like first glance looks fine side looks fine bottom looks fine but then once you start looking into the hardware which is the biggest things i looked at and then you know on the inside everything was almost perfect like the zipper was fine let me see it on this one Yeah, it's about the same. It's a slightly harsher. And they both have the little, I don't know if you can see, but right here, it'll be a CC on the bottom of one side and then Chanel on the other. And I can go a little closer if that's something you want to see as well. But in conclusion, I bought a fake bag online. I compared it to the real one and I wanted to go ahead and bring it to you guys because when I was trying to authenticate this myself, I wasn't able to find any videos online that helped me. So I kind of took everything from all the other videos and from what I also know from owning a bunch of Chanel bags and kind of using that knowledge to show you guys that the bag is unfortunately a replica. So if you have any other questions on authenticating a bag, I would be more than happy to help. And if you also do want a guide on how to shop online pre-loved because again buying your first Chanel bag is very expensive I'd always still recommend going to Chanel and buying yourself a smaller one versus a larger one just to start which is what I did that one right there is my first Chanel bag from the Chanel store and I love it I don't wear it but I love it um because it is my first one but really it is understanding that you can go online and buy a used one just make sure that you are not buying a fake one but yeah, that's all I have for today. If you guys have any questions, please do leave it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help. As well as if you do want to see that breakdown on buying online and how to make sure that you don't get scammed. Again, I'll be more than happy to help. Um, I will link my Instagram down below. So if you want to go follow me over there, that'd be awesome. And like and subscribe if you want to see more content. Thank you guys for watching and have a lovely day.